All right, Food Plot Chronicles family, we are back for episode six of Food Plot Chronicles. It is a beautiful day here at Camp Cutlet in New York, and today we are gonna be planting our fall food plot blends. Well, what's a fall food plot blend? Well, I'm glad that you asked. Our fall food plots consist of a couple different things. Turnips, rapeseed, radishes, some kale, clover, and chicory. You see, these whitetails like a variety of different food options when they're feeding through these plots. Now, when our fall food plots green up, they'll have big leaves on them, and the deer love to hit that green during the early part of the season. Then, as the season moves on and it gets colder, they dig up the turnip bulbs, the radishes, and the rapeseed, and they love munching on that when it gets cold. If you only have one plot to plant on your property, I would highly recommend and suggest a brassicus blunt because it grows quick and it is extremely valuable throughout all parts of the season. Last year, anywhere where the beans were light or they were browsed on, we just broadcasted the turnip seed right over the top. And while that worked okay, this year, we're gonna be tilling up any areas in the beans that we don't feel are gonna grow well and produce pods. We're gonna turn it, we're gonna fertilize, and we're gonna plant the brassicus blend in and around the bean plots so we got a double whammy. Two for one special. Eggs Benedict with a hashy under it. It's gonna be money. As usual, we got a lot of work to do, enough talking, let's get after it. So this is officially the sixth episode of Food Plot Cronies. We're working on this. This is a uh, turnip brassicus blend plot. As you can see, we got a elevated blind right there, but Uncle Jay's in town. And we're gonna hang a stand up in this tree. This pine right here is perfect because they cross the creek right on the other side and they cross right here to get into this plot. So with a, a, any sort of a south wind blowing out this way, it's a, it's a perfect little ambush. Dean and I cleared, there was a bunch of logs, a huge mound of logs in the middle right here that broke up this plot. So we cleared all that last week, made this plot a little bit bigger, and we actually stacked everything perf purposefully right here for a little cover so once you get in and out of the stand or when you're on the ground i should say you can get in and out undetected perfect little ambush this is a money plot we made the plot bigger two apple trees right in the middle there's another big apple tree over there in the middle of the plot so this is just a feeding frenzy zone That's about the best view, I think, in Food Plot Chronicles history right there. This stand we just hung today is absolutely amazing, overlooking these turnips that are to be, and you're pretty much going to be able to shoot the whole plot. It's insane. I mean, I couldn't ask for this to have turned out any better. I am so pumped. We got the bottom, the creek bottom behind us that the deer are going to be coming out of and then with a south southerly wind somewhere blowing up towards the road it's perfect for these deer to come out into the plot and even self-filming allow for for pretty solid shooting so i'm pretty pumped up this is bad ass all we got to do is spread some fertilizer and sow the seed and this one is done so and then pray for rain i think we're getting it tomorrow on to the next one the continuation of Cronies number six. We got another plot that we burned up, sprayed Roundup on this probably two weeks ago. And as you can see, I missed the spot in the middle. I can't believe I did that. I don't know how that happens, honestly. Thought I went through this plot good, but regardless, what is sprayed looks pretty good. This won't make a huge, huge difference. We'll till over that a couple times. Shouldn't be an issue. This is perfect. Dead. The soil under it is a little bit moist, which I like. Just turning it up makes it a little bit easier. Um, and this is all gonna be turnips in here. We got a, a redneck blind right up there. It's perfectly hidden and grown in now. It's taken about four or five years to do that, but makes an amazing bow spot, an amazing rifle spot, early season, middle of the season, late season, 
you name it, this fob's money. So this one has to be right. Just gonna turn it now and uh, either later this evening or tomorrow, we're gonna fertilize and plant it, trying to get this one planted, the one that we just killed planted, and then one more. If we can do that before the rain tomorrow, God bless. God bless America. That would be sick. The beans are, are coming up pretty nice in the uh, inside the fence. It should be a solid bean field this year, which it was not in the past couple years. But what I'm going to do now, you can see outside the fence, it's just there's not much going on, which we knew that was going to happen. We gave them, left them some to browse on right now. Um, but now we're going to till the whole outside of this fence and over in that area on the side over there as well. And uh, we're gonna plant turnips surrounding this whole field. So it should be really, really nice when it's done. It's gonna be a little tedious and stuff while we, while we uh, till some of this up, but nonetheless, by the time it's done, it should look good and it should produce, that's for sure. That's all we want. I mean, there's a lot of food in here right now, but realistically it's probably half the field um half of the field's worth of food that's inside this fence on the outsides where we can till and uh plant some turnips when they grow i mean it uh it should be really really nice and like i said it's probably going to double the amount of food so something we we actually last year we just broadcasted over like this dirt right here and the turnips came up just so 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 we're gonna attempt to just till around this whole plot see what we can get to there's a sweet little plot back in here honestly we don't even have a, a, a stand or a blind or anything right directly on it but it's something good to play off of because especially early season and even late season seems like the deer are hammering this it's super close to their bedding area i mean they're literally bedding in the swamp right behind us right here so this little quarter acre maybe a little bit bigger than a quarter acre is awesome to be able to have a little bit of food in here where they can literally take up as least amount of steps as possible and be on the food source and this dirt actually is coming up really nice after working it for the last couple of years. Um, it looks really, really good. I'm, I'm actually thoroughly impressed. We're going to plant the turnip blend in here. We may throw some clover over top of it just so that uh, that comes up first in the springtime. And we can have some food in here, you know, early spring or late spring, early summer, I should say. So... This is looking money. We're, we brought everything back here to fertilize, till, and plant, so we don't have to come back here again. It is far, far back in the woods. This is about as far back on, a, on our property as we're, we'll ever have food, and it's just uh, it's a money spot. Little honey hole, kill spot. If we wanted to throw a stand up here, we, we probably could, and we may end up doing so, but for right now, we're just trying to get seed in the ground, Pray for some rain, sunshine after that, and uh, Sprout City on them turnips. Time to seed it. The thunder's coming, we can hear it. We can literally hear thunder in the distance. This is kind of a spontaneous, spontaneous fall plot planting. We were not expecting to be doing all this yesterday and today, but the rain is coming. We got three fields, three, our main three turnip fields tilled up 
We actually planted one far back yesterday, but we got to get fertilizer spread right now. And Dino's getting prepared to plant thereafter. So get this fertilizer loaded up and get after it. Well, the rain's already coming down. I think we're gonna get a, I think this is just gonna be a hard shot for about 20 minutes and then uh, we'll get a little break maybe. And then it's gonna rain again most of the day, but there wasn't really rain in the forecast for like 10 days. And then as the week went on, this popped up 40, 45%. So we kept looking at it in the last day and a half, it bumped up to 90. So it's gonna rain most of the day today. That's coming down now. Hard part is keeping the seed that we might not use. Really the hard part is keeping the seed dry because, well, this is dirty. There's obviously gonna be some seed that we're not gonna to use today and we wanna make sure that doesn't get wet or anything. So I got the ranger parked under this big pine right now. I got the seed in the canopy and I'm gonna to have to use what we got and just try to figure out a way to do it without getting too much wet. Get this plot done, almost an acre we got here. Turnips, radishes, rapeseed going in. Just got some of the new new Earthway seed spreaders. These things are awesome. I know we've we've got a handful of them, but they hold the seed well, they'll keep it dry. You can zip zip the top up so you don't spill or lose any seed while you're driving around or seeding, and then if it's raining, it's not getting wet in there. So they are very nice. And if you use them for fertilizer, you just gotta make sure to clean them. Because they will, they will start to uh, corrode if you got the nitrogen in there. But it looks like we're gonna get another spurt again. I gotta get moving. little farming tip for you. I know this thing got soaked anyway, but if you don't rinse this fertilizer out of your spreader, that fertilizer rusts and it rusts super fast. So, gotta take care of your equipment, even though we'll probably use this thing in another week or so. Rinse it out, keep everything nice. Damn, those plots are looking sick. I mean, from the drone, isn't it awesome how you can just, you can see the beans in the fence, the dirt around it, you can just tell is nice and watered and fertilized and ready for planting. And as soon as we sowed the seed, the rain came down like God was answering our prayers. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for coming around, hanging out, and watching this edition of Food Plot Chronicles. We got about half of our fall food plot blends in the ground. The rain came, maybe a little bit too much, but beggars can't be choosers. We got about three or four more fields to plant. The bucks are a couple weeks away from being peaked out and we're really starting to see what we got on the property for this upcoming fall. I'm excited, but we thank you once again for watching. As always, any questions, comments, concerns, high fives, chest bumps, virtual bro hugs, leave them in that comment section below, and we will see y'all right here next time on Food Plot Chronicles. <laughs>